Hey guys, today I'm bringing a video to you guys which is centered on what I eat in a week and how I work out. And we're just gonna do a whole montage of my breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as clips of me working out. And so recently in my region, gone from being in a lockdown to red zone and so what that means is our gyms have opened up so I've been actually back in the gym recently but I still have a special place in my heart for our home workouts I will continue to do those probably for like ab days and like more like light upper body days that I can just do at home if you guys are interested in seeing these videos more often then please do like and subscribe as well as comment down below what you'd like to see next no matter how our lives will be, I'll tell you, I won't tell you to leave. As you will see in many of my morning clips, I am eating a lot of eggs and avocado toast and whatnot. So if you guys don't like these two items, I'm sorry, but I'm eating those very often this week and you'll probably get really annoyed with me. It's true, I gotta believe in the street. I had made that guac yesterday on Sunday. One of my tricks to eating healthy is definitely meal prepping. So this lunch was actually a combination of both um, takeout and homemade food. So. The chicken is actually what my grandmother made on the weekend and the rice is takeout rice from a Portuguese restaurant in my area. This day, I had gone to the gym and did a upper body workout as well as a bit of cardio. Um, and so you'll see in these clips that I just look so terrified and I really was to be filming myself on a treadmill. So this is biryani, tandoori chicken, uh, samosa. I'm also having a ton of salad and onion. Shout out to Kwong Tran. We watch him like every night that he posts. He's just this really awesome Canadian uh, cook. And so yeah, you guys should definitely check his channel out. I'll link it down below. Something that I've been implementing in my daily routine for the last couple weeks has been doing my makeup every morning. Um, I find that doing my makeup in the morning really puts me into a headspace of productivity and um, completeness in the morning. Um, days that I don't do my makeup, I definitely feel more sluggish and just kind of carrying my weight around the house and not really being as um, work focused as I would have been otherwise. So just like most people, I am definitely not a robot and living off of, you know, chicken breasts, uh, lean meat and broccoli, like there's going to be cravings in there somewhere and today was one of those days. So I kind of craved popcorn, uh, potato chips, chocolate, you name it. I was just enjoying the food that I had in my pantry. we will see later on that I supplemented the lack of protein in this meal with a Quest bar. Come to me, you could have it all. But it's hard to keep Switch it up Take it slow Take it slow Bring it back Bring it back Let them know Let them know Bring it down To the flow To the flow but one thing that I always keep consistent is my workouts. 
and so no matter what I ate the day before or the meal before I always will find some way to work out whether that be at home or in the gym and so today I was able to get back in the gym and I did just some abs and some bike Cinderella baby dropped the ball with it. Some of my dogs, yeah, they dogs with it. I be cool and I be raw. Baby, yeah, you dealing with a boss. Did you know you dealing with a star? I just put the handy on the rocks. I'ma put the icing on the watch. Yeah. I'm a play boy, I need a card. If you wanna play, you a star. Prepping my breakfast the night before saves so much time in the morning, especially if you were in a work from home situation. I'm about to evolve. Cap is your game, shoot but don't, and you know that I'm a big dog. Here's my regular breakfast you guys see me eat in the last video I made. Uh, protein oats are definitely a very substantial and easy, uh, quick breakfast to eat in the morning. I was on a FaceTime call while I was eating my lunch on this day and I just think that I would like to share that it's a really good reminder to give someone you love a call and just you know see how they're doing um, especially during this time talk to someone and just get your feelings out guys have to try out this cookie recipe I found online it's by cookie and Kate they taste so good and they're also like salted on top so the flavor is just amazing and I love under cooking my cookies so I guess you guys will see that they're not very dark just make sure to cook them a little bit less than what the recipe suggests On a positive note, we've been able to have more family dinners together during quarantine and so on this night we all sort of dug in and ate together and it was just such a nice moment to capture on camera. This week has been a little bit more difficult in terms of getting a morning walk in every day just because of work commitments and like at home school I'm just gonna go for like a 20 minute maybe 15 minute walk around my neighborhood and when I get back home I'll start my work and then I will catch in with you guys at breakfast So if you guys aren't from Canada, you wouldn't know this, but in Canada there's so many Tim Hortons near where people live. So I'm just walking to my nearest Tim's to pick up a bagel. Now I can see my life for the first time and sometime without judgment or expectations or budgets I know. That I'm susceptible to the show Cause I'm so close to the kids and the glow Yeah, it's hard not to chase the zeros 
So these clips were filmed before our province went back into a lockdown, but this is just what I do on a normal lower body day at the gym. I do squats, I do uh, deadlifts, hip thrusts, and lunges. One of my favorite things to do is definitely going to the grocery store. I tend to go to the grocery store like every week and it's usually to pick up um, maybe some proteins, so some chicken or um, fruits like mangoes. Right now, uh, PC Kent mangoes are just so good in the stores right now. So if I, rec I recommend if you are in Canada to buy those mangoes and try them out. Later, we had chicken burrito bowls. This chicken is always really well seasoned, and yeah, like just all the individual parts are really delicious. Thursday complete. on this day I had a combination of fettuccine alfredo, uh, chicken breast, and some salad. And one thing I really wanted to mention here was I am not afraid to eat carbs. I know that some people will do keto or will try to eat a low carb diet. I found that that hasn't worked for me in terms of losing weight. Um, I find that having a healthy balance of carbs and protein and fats have really helped satisfy my hunger, as well as uh, keep me energized for all my workouts that I do throughout the week. For dinner, I'm gonna be making sous vide chicken. Yeah, I guess the advantage of cooking sous vide is that you're basically cooking the chicken in water, and uh, the water stays like the same temperature pretty much all throughout the cooking process. Chicken and the air fried fries are done. We will get to eating. Pretty late though. This night was the first time we made chicken thigh sandwiches and since filming this video I swear we've made this dinner like six times since then and it's just so yummy and the macros on this meal are really not that bad um, and it's just so filling and yummy. 